What's up guys? Welcome back to the Real Mike Cart. Here's a uh, here's a second upload, a uh, MAME upload, a second NARC upload. Uh, not really a NARC playthrough. This, I'm using this uh, second NARC upload as an opportunity to uh, show you guys how to do two players. So you open up the dip switches with, uh, um, what is it, coin and start. Press them together at the same time and you're going to select your two player mode. You're going to press, I think it's, um, let me see, A, B, yeah, you press C button. Sorry, it's actually the first B button. button. You press it once and then you select whichever button you want to assign to that. Then you go down to the next one and you select it once. Be careful only to press it once because if you press it twice, then you'll accidentally mark it as that button that you're using to select. See the uh, select button and the change button is the same. And sometimes it, if you don't do it right, if you press, if you press it more than once, it'll assign that button. And you don't want that button. You want a different button there. So right now we're, I'm changing all the player two, and I'm making it. Assign. I'm aligning it up with player one so that everything, everybody that player one has, player two, is that is uh, the same. They're merged together. That way I can control uh, both player one and player two. Uh, sometimes it's kind of confusing with the coin and the uh, the start button. Sometimes uh, you have to figure that out. You have to assign the coin and the start button to a different button other than your coin and start, your physical coin and start that you have on your virtual controller layout and that just takes some figuring out you can uh, save it try it out right now I'm trying out the settings and I can't get my uh, player 2 to start so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna change this coin I'm gonna move the coin to uh, C button it's actually B button and see if that does anything I'm gonna check my two player two player coin I'm gonna move that around. Okay, so now I should be able to start a two-player game. And yeah, it just takes trial and error. Oh, there we go. Now we got two players at the same time. And I was uh, trying to use two players to try to get to a big boss man, but I still wasn't able to do it. Um, yeah, so I gave up on this NARC uh, playthrough. I just made it as far as this silver key card and the first boss man in the chair. And, uh, you know, I, I still think that I need to rework the coin and the start for player two. Uh, for some reason, it wouldn't let me uh, coin up my dead, uh, my dead player. Once my player dies, I wasn't able to coin him up and start right away. It would have a delay and it's making me wait till the other player dies and then you just lose your whole, your whole game. So, yeah, I gave up on that. Um, I'm going to move on to the... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles gameplay that's coming up next so stay tuned for that and yeah this is basically just a quick little a quick little video a little informative video on uh, setting up uh, one player and two player games to the first controller on your virtual controller that way you'll have uh, a better chance at defeating some of these games uh, that's what I did for TMNT but I set all four turtles to the first player and you can watch that video. I have that video um, on the main MU uh, playlist. And uh, we're, like I said, we're going to do some of that gameplay right after I upload this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. This is the real Mike Cart. And lastly, uh, just so you know, if you're using MAME or any emulators and you go into the settings like I do, just be very careful, guys. If it's your first time doing anything like that, I wouldn't mess with uh, too much. Um, I have shown videos where my phone almost crashed. Um, the RetroArch, I have a video up of how it crashed and almost couldn't get back into my phone. It froze my phone. So yeah, emulators are very risky. Um, they're not for everybody. And if you do not know your emulation, you do not know your file settings or how MU works, I would not get into it. Because you can really damage your phone, damage your computer.